what is a cap rate? What does it mean? When do you use it? How does it fluctuate? My name is Robert Velez. I work with KW Commercial. I am your commercial real estate expert and I'm going to teach you a little bit about cap rates today. A cap rate, a capitalization rate, is the rate of return you make if you paid cash for the property in year one. So the rate of return you make in year one if you paid for the property in cash. Two key points, year one and paying for it in cash. It is so ridiculous how many times I hear real estate agents, commercial real estate agents that sell businesses, they'll try to sell a business and say you're going to make a 10% cap rate on this business. What does that even mean? That's impossible. It is impossible to figure to, to say because you don't know what your business is going to be tomorrow. You don't know if the state's going to come in and tax whatever product or service that you are that you are um, that you are buying into. You don't know how that business is going to change. So you cannot put a cap rate on a business. Don't ever let anybody sway you in the wrong direction. Don't ever say that to anybody because you're going to look like a fool. But if you were uh, investing in an investment that has a lease, most likely you know what that property is going to be producing for the next 12 months. So in that year one, you know what you're going to make and that's how you figure out your cap rate. So cap rates fluctuate. It's uh, it's like an, an inverted term as the cap rate goes up and you're at like, let's say a 12% cap. The price goes down. People will pay less for that property. If you're at a 4% cap, the price goes up. People will pay a lot more for that property. Now, why is that? People will pay way more down here because it's more of a secure investment, typically. Down here, you're gonna get amazing markets like Florida, like New York, extremely secure markets, arguably some of the best markets in, in the country. Right here, you're gonna get a lower percent return because then nothing's gonna happen to that market. That market's on fire. Or triple net investments. Triple net investment is you own the land and somebody like Dollar General comes and builds the building on your land and they pay you rent. You don't have to worry about taxes, insurance. If the building burns down, you have absolutely no liability to that. And you are guaranteed that rent check for the next 10 years, whether the building is there or not. You are most, most of the time. If it's a corporate back lease, sometimes it's not always like that. But we actually have some Dollar Generals for sale. If you want to take a look at our, at our website, dpcomgroup.com, we have two Dollar Generals that just hit the market, and they're going at about a 6.5% cap. So that triple net investments, strong markets, they're more down here. But you can even get a, Dollar Generals at 65 you can even go less. Like Let's say if you have an even more secure franchise, like the number one franchise in the world, McDonald's, they're selling at about a 4% cap. But I mean... A McDonald's is never going anywhere and you know that McDonald's is never going anywhere so that's why it's more secure you're taking less of a risk you're gonna make less money you take more of a risk you're gonna make you, you could potentially make more money but you're probably in the worst area and people are not going to um, you're probably in the worst area so you're not so secure it's and also over here you're typically doing like a smaller multi-family kind of deal so you're, you're still getting that phone call. You're not going to somebody else. If you go down here with the large multifamilies, like 100 units, you're a property manager. You're not getting that, that phone call. It is a lot more secure that way. So less security, more security. That is the 411 on cap rates. What did you learn today? Cap rate is the, uh, the rate of return you make Cap rate is the return you make on year one if you pay for the property cash. If you go to somebody and say, hey, what kind of cap rate do you look for? You can't technically say that to somebody if they're not paying cash for the property. You know what I'm saying? Because then it's not really a cap rate that they're looking for. It's a cash on cash return that they're looking for. And the difference in that would be, let's say they're buying the property for half a million bucks. You got to put 20% down. That's $100,000 down. You would take the NOI net operating income, which is your gross income minus all of your expenses. You take the NOI, you divide that by the amount invested, which is just your down payment. So that would be 100K, and that would give you a 50% uh, return, cash on cash, which is ridiculous to find, but um, that's a cash on cash 
this is a cap rate. Now, how do you find a cap rate? Let's say uh, you're, let's say the property is two million bucks. And they're saying it's at a 6% cap. That means, simple, you take the two million times 6% and you're at 120,000. That's how you figure out what you're making. If you find a listing or something that says it's two million bucks and you're at a 6% cap, boom, you know that this property's NOI is 120,000. Odds are this could be wrong because odds are they don't put all those expenses in there. They're not putting a maintenance fee in there. They're not putting, um, they're not putting a lot of stuff in there. They could be hiding a lot of things. You have to check on that. But that's besides the point. This is how you figure it out. Two million dollars at a 6% cap, you're at 120,000. Now let's reverse it the other way. Um, how you would figure it out if they just said the property's worth 200,000. The property's worth, we're selling for 2 million, you're gonna make $120,000 a year. So you try to figure out, oh, what's my cap rate? So boom, 120,000, divide that by 2 million, and that will give you a 6% cap. That's how you figure out your cap rate. Very simple, very simple. The amount of money you made, if you pay cash for the property today, comes out to your cap rate. That's the 411 on cap rates. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment, like, share. I need your help. Like, share this video. Um, let me know if you want to see anything else. Robert Velez. KW Commercial, your real estate expert. It's 4th of July. I hope you guys stay safe out there. Uh, don't get a DUI, no drinking and driving. Stay home, get call an Uber. Be safe, have a great day, and be great.